In this video, we will look at the label control for a Windows form application. Now, labels are primarily used to display a little bit of text. So, labels can be used to display output text, output results. Uh, you can use a label to maybe display a status message or a warning message or an error message. And labels are also used to label other controls. So for example, if you have a text box or another control that's supposed to do something, you can add a label to add a little more description to that control. Let's look at some of the common properties and methods and events associated with a label control object. Some of the common properties you can use are the text property. The text, text property is probably the most uh, important property of the label. Uh, the text property contains a string of text that just displays, just shows what is being displayed in the label. Uh, the font property might be useful. You can change different, um, you can change the font type, size, whether it's bold, italic, strike through, etc. So you can make labels look different. Uh, labels have a back color and a for color property, which lets you change the background of the label and the, the text color of the label. And labels have a visible property, which is a Boolean value. Uh, if the visible property is true, you can see the text of the label. If it's false, you can't see it. Some methods that might be useful, uh, the label has the show method and the hide method. The show and hide methods basically do the same thing as setting the visible property to true or false. So they can help make a label uh, disappear or appear. And the default event for a, the default event handler or the default event for a label is the click event and while the click event is the default event for a label usually labels aren't used as clickable items they're they're meant for displaying text labels uh, so quite often when we use a label we are not using it the labels aren't I should say the labels aren't often associated with an event Let's look at an example or two. So here I have Visual Studio opened up. I have a Windows Form project built. To get to my controls, I'm gonna to go to my toolbox and there's a little pin here where I can set it to kind of stay open or close. Now, if you don't see the toolbox in your uh, Visual Studio, you can go up to the view uh, and then there should be a toolbox option that, that should enable it. Now the toolbox has a bunch of controls and we're going to go through through several of them in videos. But under this common controls group of tools, we're going to find a label. So a label provides runtime information or descriptive text for a control. So to add a label to our project, I'm going to take the label and drag it onto our form in design view. Now if you're in another view like form1.cs, you will not be able to see your toolbox items. These are only available when you are in design view. Now here I will shrink my form down a little bit. So here's what a label looks like. When I drag a label object onto my form, I create an, I instantiate a label object behind the scenes and that object's name is label1. So the object's variable name is label1. If I go to my form one designer code and I should see here that in the designer.cs file I am creating a field variable that is of type system.windows.forms.label and it's the, the field name is label one so label one is the field variable of type label that I've instantiated in my um, form. And then if I open my initialized components, here's the actual instantiation. I'm creating my label one field variable is equal to a new label one object. I'm calling the label default constructor to create this object. And uh, so that, that's going on behind the scenes. Okay, let's look at some of these properties. So we, we, said, we showed the text property. The text property of the label contains a string of text. So I could say output text here. And whatever text value I put into the text property of my label, that's the text that's displayed. And then we can go up here and notice we have a font property. We can change the font to different font types. 
here we go I'll, I'll pick something scripty here and we'll make it a little bit bigger we can set the size bold strikeouts and change what our text looks like I can go up to the background color and I can set a different background color for my text if I want how about misty rose you can see just the kind of area around the back of the the label is changes color there that might not show up very well maybe I'll go a little bit whoops change that back select my label I'll change this to something a little more visible how about gold there we go and then there's a foreground color property if we wanted to change the the foreground color of the text. How about to white? So there you go. And if I run my form, we can see that all of these changes that I'm making to the label are showing up in the actual when the application is running. Now let's create another label. I drag I drug another label out here. It's called label two. And it looks like it it captured the same font coloring as my previous label so I'm going to go to my foreground color change this back to black and this time I'm going to register the an event for my for my label I'm going to create an event a click event handler now to register an event handler like we saw in the previous video I can select my control click on the events tab in the properties window and then find the event that I want to register. And there are a bunch of events, many, many more events than I have uh, mentioned. And I could go here and I could label, I could call this handle label to click and register a click event handler for this label. And how about when I click this label, I will change the forms background color to something. Change it to aqua. So for my, if I click on my label two, here I can click on my label one, nothing happens. But if I click on label two, the background changed because I registered an event, a click event handler for this label control object. But again, just because we can uh, register an, a click event for a label doesn't mean we need to. So it depends on what your, your application is trying to do. Um, let's grab another label here. Here's my label three. Again, it looks like the default color has changed from black to white. Let me change that foreground color back to black so we can see it. This time I'm going to just double click on my label object. When you double click on any control object, what happens is it will register the control objects default event handler for you. So instead of clicking on the label, selecting the event, and then typing in a name, if I just double click on a control, it will register the default handler for that control. And for a label, the default event handler is the click event handler. So instead of me typing out the method name to handle this event, uh, Visual Studio gave me the label three underscore click name for free. So how about when I click on label three, I'm going to take the label two. I'm going to say label twos dot uh, visible property is going to be, I'm going to change it to false. So I'm going to try to make label twos visible property false, and we'll see what that does. So I click on label two, I change the forms background color to aqua. I click on label three. And my label two disappeared. The visible property became went from true to false, and now I cannot see that label. Now that label wasn't deleted; it's still behind the scenes. But if I wanted that label to come back, I could call the label two dot show method, or I could set label two's visible property back to true. All right. Uh, one last thing I'm going to do is for label three, let's give it some default. Let's give it some text. Uh, I could change the text directly from the design view. So I can go to my text editor here and change my label three text in the properties window. But I'm gonna show you that we can also change the label three's text uh, programmatically. So for example, um, 
here I'm going to make late once I click on label three let's make label three's text show or tell that label two is, has disappeared so I'm going to say label three dot text is equal to now I need to set this to any string of text so I could just say uh, label two is gone or is uh, is not visible and this would work I could create any string of text and store it to my text property of my label three and that's the string of text that will appear uh, in the in the form but uh, also we can use a method called the string dot format method and the string dot format method works very similarly to the console uh, write or, or write line method in that it allows you to create formatted text so let me give you an example here so here I'm going to insert formatted text and insert a value so I'm gonna have a, I have a little prompt in front of a, a placeholder and I'm going to insert this string value into the placeholder and the string dot format is going to create this formatted string and let me save it to the text property string dot format always returns a string value but string dot format could be useful if I wanted to insert for example numeric values or currency values into a string all right let's run this so when I click label 2 the background should turn aqua when I click label 3 label 2's visible property should set be set to false so label 2 should disappear and label 3's text instead of showing label 3 it should show the string two little carrots and then label 2 is not visible and there we go so I hope this is a, a, a quick example of some of the ways you can use a label.